During Black History Month, we are highlighting how San Diego College of Continuing Education is celebrating. And here to talk with us is the president of San Diego City or San Diego College of Continuing Education, Carlos Osvaldo Cortez. Carlos, good to talk with you tonight. Oh, we're so thrilled to be here. Thank you for this opportunity. Well, my goodness, you've got a lot of events coming up, so let's talk about each one of them. First up, next Wednesday, tell me about the power of poetry. Wonderful. Shammy D and Elise Smith Cooper, two renowned poets, are going to uh, grace us with a w wonderful presentation joined by a uh, veteran educator and San Diego legend Ernie McRae um, for a Power of Poetry series on February 17th at 12 noon. And then the subsequent week, um, Stories We Tell will focus on African American storyteller. And we're thrilled to report that we have a, a celebrity storyteller, um, Mitchell Campbell, um, known as the granddaddy. Junebug is an award-winning master storyteller from North Carolina, and he's going to be joining us with several local storytellers as well. And then my favorite one is coming up on Saturday, February 20th. Well, maybe it's my favorite just because of the title. Ask Your Mama 12 Moods for Jazz. Tell me about that. Oh, you know, jazz music is African-American music at its core, and here in our district in San Diego Community College District and at San Diego College of Continuing Education, we value um, the history of, of jazz and the important music movement. And as you're well aware, our district also hosts a radio station. The local mm -hmm. jazz station is part of our district at City College. Yeah, very good stuff. Good music, good vibes going yeah. out. And then um, you're actually extending it through March. And on March 8th, tell me about what's happening at 11 a.m. Uh, that one I'm not familiar with. Oh. Um, that might be at a different institution within our district. I represent one of the four institutions, San Diego Continuing Education. Um, and in that capacity, I, I represent the ECC campus. Many people don't know that the ECC campus hosted the federal commission to make Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday a federal holiday, which led to passage. Of, of a federal holiday to, to celebrate Dr. King's legacy and his birthday. And as a result, his late wife, Coretta Scott King, came to our campus in the early 1980s to thank the campus for their work and the college for their work in recognizing her late husband. Um, as a result, we graced um, a whole list of A-list African-American arts and culture and political leaders from Whitney, uh, from, from uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg uh, to the late uh, 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 Maya Angelou um, performed in our theater. Muhammad Ali, Stevie Wonder, and many other greats have been part making ECC a hub for African culture and arts here in San Diego. And therefore, we're in the process of having the campus designated a civil rights landmark. Wow, that is incredible. I know with all these events, you have them open to the public. So how do folks go find out how they can actually tune in, check it out, take a part? You can visit our website and under calendar at sdcce, San Diego College of Continuing Education.edu, sdcce.edu, or follow me on my Twitter site. My Twitter handle is sdcce president, and you can find flyers with the Zoom link so that anyone can attend, free and open to the public. We hope you join us. Why is it so important as a leader of an educational institution to really hallmark Black History Month? I think it's important to recognize and celebrate all of our constituents, and this is a month that's designated specifically to African American history. Um, we are not just committed to celebrating African American history, but to to serving African American students and supporting African American employees to be successful in our institution. Um, San Diego College of Continuing Education is going to announce in the next couple of weeks an action plan designed to increase outcomes for African American students that will provide 10 benchmarks that we will work towards over the next three years. Um, it's critical, I believe, at this juncture, as our nation is, is, in, is engaged in, in conflict around issues of race and equality, uh, for us to assert ourselves as a college, a community college, to represent and celebrate all members of our community. And this month, we're thrilled to represent and celebrate African-American history culture. Job well done, sir. I'm going to be tuning in on the 20th and enjoying some great jazz pumping out of your station or out of the station on your campus. Thank you that so, so awesome. much. Thank you so much for your time tonight, Carlos. Thank you so much for having me. All right.